Welcome to another test from the DMV practice tests. In this video we are going to test Illinois DMV practice test. For answers and explanations check the description below and our website for more tests. Question number 1. You have the right of way when you are A. Entering a traffic circle B. Backing out of a driveway C. Leaving a parking space D. Already in a traffic circle Question number 2. If you see this sign above your lane, you A. May not exit the freeway in this lane. B. May continue through the interchange or exit the freeway in this lane. C. May stay in this lane and continue through the interchange. D. Must exit the freeway if you stay in this lane. Question number 3. A rectangular shaped sign is A. School crossing sign. B. Railroad crossing sign. C. Stop sign. D. Speed limit sign. Question number 4. If your turn signals fail, you should use blank to indicate you are turning. A. Your horn. B. Your headlights. C. Hand signals. D. Your emergency flashers. Question number 5. To avoid accidents, drivers should communicate with each other by A. Signaling when changing lanes slash direction, slowing down or stopping. B. Using their horns in emergencies and when really necessary. C. Using emergency flashers slash flares slash signs as needed. D. All of the above. Question number 6. A green arrow showing at the same time as the red traffic light means, A. Vehicles going in the direction shown by the arrow must stop. B. Do not go in the direction of the arrow until the traffic light turns green. C. You may go in the direction of the arrow with caution. D. Road closed ahead, go in the direction of the arrow. Question number 7. This sign means, A. No U-turn. B. No left turn. C. No right turn. D. No turning. Question number 8. Seatbelts can be most effective as injury preventive devices when they are worn by A. The person driving the car. B. Passengers when they are on a long drive. C. All occupants of a car being driven on an expressway. D. Passengers and the driver whenever they are in the car. Question number 9. From top to bottom, the following is the proper order for traffic lights. A. Red, yellow, green. B. Red, green, yellow. C. Green, red, yellow. D. Green, yellow, red. Question number 10. You are going to make a left turn from a dedicated left turn lane when a yellow arrow appears for your lane. You should A. Speed up to get through the intersection. B. Stop and not turn under any circumstances. C. Be prepared to obey the next signal that appears. D. Go through the intersection since you have the right of way. Question number 11. What kinds of drugs, other than alcohol, can affect your driving ability? A. An allergy medicine. 
B. Marijuana. C. A cold remedy. D. All of these choices. Question number 12. One of the rules of defensive driving is A. Look straight ahead as you drive. B. Stay alert and keep your eyes moving. C. Expect that other drivers will make up for your errors. D. Be confident that you can avoid danger at the last minute. Question number 13. When passing a bicyclist, you should A. Blast your horn to alert the bicyclist. B. Move as far left as possible. C. Remain in the center of the lane. D. Put on your four-way flashers. Question number 14. You can drive in a carpool lane if A. You have the minimum number of passengers shown on the sign. B. You are driving an empty 15-passenger van. C. You want to pass the vehicle ahead. D. You are in a rush. Question number 15. What does it mean when a school bus is stopped and its red lights are flashing? A. You may pass if no children are on the road. B. You may not pass while the red lights are flashing. C. You may pass if you are facing the front of the bus. D. You may not pass if it is on the other side of a divided highway. Question number 16. After a train has passed, you should A. Wait for a green light. B. Proceed across the tracks. C. Blow horn and proceed. D. Check again for approaching trains and proceed with caution. Question number 17. When you see this sign, you must A. Stop completely, check for pedestrians, and cross traffic. B. Slow down without coming to a complete stop. C. Stop completely and wait for a green light. D. Slow down and check for traffic. Question number 18. A broken white center line on the roadway means A. No turns are allowed. B. Reduce your speed ahead. C. You are in a no passing zone. D. You may change lanes with due care. Question number 19. If you drive after drinking, you should be aware that the first thing alcohol affects is A. Your hearing. B. Your alertness. C. Your vision. D. Your judgment. Question number 20. When parking your vehicle facing uphill with a curb, you should point your front wheels, A. Into the curb. B. Away from the curb. C. Either into or away from the curb. D. Straight ahead. Question number 21. You may have to share the road with snowmobiles. A. During the fall. B. Never. Snowmobiles are not allowed on roadways. C. During the winter. D. During the summer. Question number 22. Which of the following is a regulatory sign? A. Stop here on red sign. B. No right turn sign. C. Do not enter signs. D. All of the listed answers are correct. E. Speed zone ahead sign. Question number 23. Illinois law prohibits use of cell phones within A. 
250 feet of an emergency scene. B. 500 feet of an emergency scene. C. 100 feet of an emergency scene. D. 200 feet of an emergency scene. Question number 24. The only thing that removes the effects of alcohol is A. A big meal. B. Engaging in exercise. C. Time. D. A two hour nap. E. Drinking two cups of coffee or swallowing two aspirin pills. Question number 25. When driving, you should sit so that the airbag is A. 14 to 16 inches away. B. 8 to 10 inches away. C. 12 to 14 inches away. D. 10 to 12 inches away. Question number 26. If you park on a street with curbing and your vehicle is facing downhill, you should turn the front wheels A. Towards the curb. B. Away from the curb. C. Parallel to the curb. D. Either away or towards the curb. Question number 27. You will be required to successfully complete a driver remedial education course to make your driving privileges official again, if your license was suspended prior to age. A. 25. B. 24. C. 21. D. 23. E. 22. Question number 28. Pedestrians should avoid walking on the roadway. A. None of the listed answers are correct. B. Pedestrians may always walk on a roadway. C. Unless it saves them a significant amount of travel time. D. Whenever they can, unless there is no sidewalk or shoulder next to it. Question number 29. What is the minimum fine for passing a stopped school bus? A. 150. B. 50. C. 200. D. There is no fine for this violation. E. 100. Question number 30. What sound can be a warning of a blowout? A. A screeching sound. B. A whistling sound. C. A squealing sound. D. A thumping sound. E. A grinding sound. Question number 31. Low speed electric and gas bicycles may not exceed A. 50 miles per hour. B. 30 miles per hour. C. 10 miles per hour. D. 20 miles per hour. E. 40 miles per hour. Question number 32. All of the following are symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning, except A. Yawning. B. Headache. C. Nausea. D. Alertness. E. Weariness. Question number 33. At a railroad crossing, if there is a posted stop sign, the electric signal is flashing, or the crossing gate is lowered, you must stop. A. Within 20 to 25 feet. B. Within 10 to 15 feet. C. Within 25 to 30 feet. D. Within 15 to 20 feet. Question number 34. If you are arrested with a BA of .08 or more and you've never had a prior arrest, your driving privileges will be automatically suspended for A. 24 months. B. 36 months. C. 6 months.
D. 12 months. Question number 35. The left lane is for A. Regular driving. B. Passing and turning only. C. Passing, turning, or regular driving. D. Turning only. E. Passing only. Question number 36. What is not a valid standard traffic sign color? A. Purple for guide signs. B. Red for regulatory signs. C. Black and white for other regulatory signs. D. Brown for parks and recreation signs. E. Yellow for warning signs. Question number 37. Which of the following statements about horseback riders is false? A. Horseback riders must ride in the same direction as other traffic and as far to the right as possible. B. Never sound the horn when you are near a horse. C. When meeting or passing a horseback rider, do so with caution and be prepared to stop. D. Horseback riders may use public roadways. E. Horseback riders may ride on limited access highways. Question number 38. Which of the following statements about motorcycles is true? A. Motorcycles can stop in a shorter distance than a car. B. All of the listed answers are correct. C. Motorcycles and cars require the same distance to come to a stop. D. Motorcycles cannot brake effectively. Question number 39. If you are arrested for and or convicted of driving under the influence, you may a. be sent to prison. b. lose your vehicle registration. c. be fined by the court. d. all of the listed answers are correct. e. lose your driving privileges. Question number 40. The most common cause of collisions between motorcyclists and motorists is A. Motorcyclists ride too fast. B. None of the listed answers are correct. C. Having to share a lane with a motorcycle. D. Drivers failing to detect and recognize motorcyclists in traffic. E. Having to drive slow around motorcycles. Question number 41. When driven at night, scooters and mopeds must have a headlight visible from at least A. 700 feet. B. 400 feet. C. 600 feet. D. 300 feet. E. 500 feet. Question number 42. The Child Passenger Protection Act requires that all children be properly secured in an appropriate child safety restraint system until they are a. 7 years old b. 9 years old c. 8 years old d. 6 years old e. 10 years old Question number 43 when following another vehicle, always try to stay, A. 3 seconds behind. B. 200 feet back. C. 4 seconds behind. D. 2 seconds behind. E. 100 feet back. Question number 44. When a vehicle is approaching you head on in the same lane, you should A. Pull over to the right when safe to do so. B. 
Slow down immediately. C. All of the listed answers are correct. D. Sound your horn. Question number 45. If smoke appears, you should A. Pull off the road and call 9-1-1. B. Continue driving to a safe place. C. None of the listed answers are correct. D. Fight the fire yourself. E. Avoid turning off the engine. Question number 46. You should place the lap belt. A. None of the listed answers are correct. B. Across the soft area of your abdomen. C. Across your chest. D. Across your stomach. E. Across your hip bones. Question number 47. Joggers slash walkers should not. A. Face away from oncoming traffic. B. Face oncoming traffic. C. Look and listen for cars. D. Use jogging paths when provided. E. Wear reflective clothing. Question number 48. Which one of the following speed limits is incorrect? A. In city slash town areas, drive 40 miles per hour. B. In highways less than four lanes and rural areas, drive 55 miles per hour. C. In four lane highways, drive 65 miles per hour. D. In alleys, drive 15 miles per hour. E. In school zones, drive 20 miles per hour while the school is under operation. Question number 49. What percentage of motorcycle accidents occur at intersections? A. About 25%. B. More than 50%. C. About 33%. D. About 15%. E. Less than 10%. Question number 50. A motorcyclist may proceed through an intersection after yielding the right of way to oncoming traffic if the red light fails to turn green after A. 120 seconds B. 90 seconds C. 30 seconds D. 10 seconds E. 60 seconds Question number 51 what can protect a motorcyclist in a collision? A. None of the listed answers are correct. B. Only their helmet. C. Only the face protection area of the helmet. D. A helmet, eye protection, boots, gloves and enduring clothing. E. There is nothing that can protect a motorcyclist during a collision. Question number 52. During high winds, the Illinois Tollway System bans the howling of A. Livestock B. Any trailer C. House trailers D. Freight E. All of the listed answers are correct. Question number 53. A vehicle may be impounded for interrupting a funeral procession by A. Driving recklessly B. Pulling over C. Driving cautiously D. Driving the speed limit E. Driving slowly Question number 54. If you park on a street with curbing and your vehicle is facing downhill, you should turn the front wheels, A. Away from the curb. B. Either away or towards the curb. C. Parallel to the curb. 
E. Towards the curb. Question number 55. When being passed by a motorcycle, you should A. Slow down. B. Speed up. C. Maintain your speed and lane position. D. Ignore the motorcyclist. E. Pull over. Question number 56. Which of the following drugs can affect your driving? A. Pain relieving medication. B. Mood altering drugs. C. All of the listed answers are correct. D. Allergy and antihistamine pills. Question number 57. Warning signs are what shape? A. Octagon. B. Round. C. Triangular. D. Square. E. Diamond. Question number 58. A pedestrian with a disability who is utilizing a guide dog, a white can, a wheelchair, or other assistive device on a sidewalk or roadway, A. Is granted right of way and the same rights as any other pedestrian. B. Is not granted right of way, nor the same rights as any other pedestrian. C. None of the listed answers are correct. D. Is granted right of way only if an approaching driver is not in a hurry. Question number 59. If you miss your exit on an expressway, you should A. Back up to the missed exit. B. Turn around and proceed back to your exit. C. Go to the next exit. D. None of the listed answers are correct. E. All of the listed answers are correct. Question number 60. Which of the following statements about motorcycles is false? A. Do not share lanes with a motorcycle. B. A motorcycle may adjust positions within a lane. C. Traffic conditions and road surfaces are determining factors that affect how motorcyclist maneuvers. D. It is okay to share lanes with a motorcycle when possible. Question number 61. Before entering a curve, you should A. None of the listed answers are correct. B. Break several times. C. Accelerate. D. Pull over to the farthest side of the curve. E. Reduce your speed. Question number 62. A second conviction of driving under the influence within 20 years results in A. A revocation that is permanent. B. None of the listed answers are correct. C. A harshly worded letter of warning. D. A revocation of a minimum of 5 years. E. A revocation of a minimum of 10 years. Question number 63. To prevent drowsy driving, A. Get enough rest. B. All of the listed answers are correct. C. Stop frequently during long trips. D. Exercise your eyes by reading road signs or shifting the focus of your eyes safely to different parts of the road. Question number 64. What sound can be a warning of a blowout? A. A screeching sound. B. A thumping sound. C. A whistling sound. D. A grinding sound. E. A squealing sound. Question number 65. In urban areas, 
Drivers must come to a stop before exiting an alley or driveway. A. Only when a police officer is directing traffic. B. There is no law requiring drivers to stop in this situation. C. When the driveway leads out to a roadway with more than two lanes. D. At all times. E. When traffic is not approaching. Question number 66. The range of normal speeds for slow moving vehicles is A. 15 to 30 miles per hour. B. 5 to 40 miles per hour. C. 10 to 35 miles per hour. D. 5 to 20 miles per hour. E. 20 to 40 miles per hour. Question number 67. When a vehicle is approaching you head on in the same lane, you should A. Slow down immediately. B. All of the listed answers are correct. C. Pull over to the right when safe to do so. D. Sound your horn. Question number 68. The maximum speed on the expressway is A. 40 miles per hour. B. 50 miles per hour. C. 75 miles per hour. D. 65 miles per hour. E. 70 miles per hour. Question number 69. You should be especially careful to watch for children when signs mark special hazard zones, such as A. Playgrounds. B. All of the listed answers are correct. C. Parks. D. Bus stops. E. School zones. Question number 70. Which season presents the most difficult driving conditions? A. Spring. B. Fall. C. Winter. D. Summer. E. All seasons are equally difficult. For answers and explanations check the description below and our website for more tests.